everyone, my name is Heidi Scott. I'm with DIY Dreaming with Heidi Scott and today is going to be my last video um, or tutorial about working with vintage sheet music. Although, I still have 150 million other ideas that I will probably um, do in the future. So today what I wanna show you is how to make these little trees that are so stinking cute. And I'm gonna show you how to make uh, artwork using vintage uh, sheet music. So to make the trees, and I'm just gonna jump right in, I'll tell you where I got everything and how I did it. So um, basically to get the vintage sheet music, I just went to my local Goodwill. I found three different books of music. Um, this one is for clarinet and piano, one is for violin, um, and another one was just a piano book. Um, they all have lots of good pages in them. The paper's a little bit thicker, and I was looking for pages that um, looked kind of vintage. They were like $1.97 a piece, so I bought three. Okay, and then I just ripped out a page to make these little trees, and folded them, folded that page in half, and then using some scissors, I basically just cut from bottom to top. And here is your tree. And I have two different sizes, you'll notice. This one is taller and wider, and this one is shorter and narrower. So you could do a whole um, forest of trees using this kind of paper. Then basically you are just going to fold back and forth. Can you guys see what I'm doing? This part is so easy. And to, like an accordion until you get to the very top. And you don't have to have this be perfectly symmetrical or have every fold be exactly the same. It does not matter. Okay, so I'm just going to pretend that I went all the way to the top. Well, actually, I think I'll just do that because it'll be easier to show you the next step. So then to create the base on these trees, I just got in my cabinet and um, we like to grill a lot at our house. And so I got some of my good old wooden shish kebab spears out and I poked it uh, piece by piece through the center of my tree which I'm almost there okay one last fold and then I'll be there okay so here's my tree my little accordion tree okay then taking the sharp edge you're basically just going to look at the center, roughly, where the center is, and poke it through one or two. Can you guys see that? And then you fold it up and you'll poke it through another one. And another one. And another one. All the way to the top. So um, I did not come up with this idea. Um, I saw a one of my favorite um, bloggers. She did a project kind of like this. Um, I don't remember if it was exactly the same. And then of course I spent a few hours on Pinterest one evening and there, there were lots of um, this idea there. So I don't wanna steal anyone else's idea. I just like to borrow and then make it my own using sort of this whole black and white with a little sparkle kind of theme. Hey Carrie. Okay, so let me pull my tree up and I'll show you the next part. Okay, you're gonna fiddle around with it until you get it exactly how you like it. And then for um, both of them, I just took some plain Elmer's glue and a paintbrush and I painted the edge, or the, the folded part, all the way up on the tree. Then I took this, whoops, my favorite silver 
extra fine glitter from Walmart, sprinkled it over it, let it dry, clipped off the bottom at the length that I wanted. And I had picked up some of these little round um, wood slices at Hobby Lobby, gosh, like, I don't know, a month ago. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them. And um, so then I decided that I would make that my base. Now, I don't tend to use any power tools. Um, we have some in the garage, but I'm kind of afraid of them. So I like to just go back to your basics. I got a big old screw and my hammer, and I just whacked a hole into the center of my wood slice and um, put a little hot glue in there and stuck my thing in. This is just some tinsel, same with this one. On this one, I put a rim of the glitter around the top of the base. On this one, I put the glitter all the way around the, the wooden uh, bumpy part. And this one actually, I hit it so hard that I broke it in half. But no problem, a little hot glue, just put it right back together and it was um, as good as new. So that is how I made that project. And um, if you're just now joining me in this vintage sheet music uh, um, series, this is number three, so there's two other videos that I recorded. The first one was on making um, all these cool little uh, music um, glass pots with rolled up sheet music. The second one was all about making banners. And if you look up above me, you can see a banner. If you look over my shoulder on my fireplace, you can kind of see a banner. And this was my Merry Christmas banner that I made. That's so easy and such a fun project. So today I'm finishing it up with just some Christmas things, with the Christmas trees and then the idea of making these uh, pieces of art that you can just set about anywhere in your home. So to make this project, basically what I did is I took a piece of sheet music and I traced the glass to get the exact size that I would need for the project before I did any stenciling. Then um, I used two different designs. This one right here says Grace, Gather, and Grateful, and it's from this awesome stencil that you can get from a maker studio, and I'll put a link on there, or there may be one already, um, where you can order it if you're interested. And so it's Grace, Gather, and Grateful. And then this one right here is from a stencil set that says Blessed, Thankful, Grateful. Let me hold that a little closer so you can see. I know it's backwards. Um, I could adjust that on my Facebook Lives, but then it's backwards for what I'm seeing and that confuses me. So, okay, so to do this project, you're basically just going to take your stencil, lay it on your piece of sheet music. Um, where is my gel ink? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Take a little bit of this awesome stuff. This is from a maker studio. I totally love this stuff. It's called um, Gel Art Ink, and this is in black. I just squeeze a little bit of it, like toothpaste, out onto a spreader, push the ink through the stencil, and pull it up. So here's Grace, Gather, Grateful. And then, to just give the, um, give the design a little more oomph, I decided to put a little heart and then these two cute little, these kind of remind me of a pine tree. And sort of, this idea sort of reminds me of a Christmas tree. And the words definitely are appropriate for Christmas time. So in between, I used this stencil, which is called um, Details, and it's also from a maker studio. This is, has a lot of really awesome pieces. This stencil right here is great at Christmas time because it sort of looks like stag, a stag's um, horns. Um, and then this is my favorite, this little heart and this little flower heart thing. So then I let it dry. Now these frames here are repurposed 
They were, I got them at Goodwill a while ago. Um, they were this really awful, super bright, shiny gold. And they had some really ugly uh, art inside of them. So, and they were only like two or three dollars a piece and there was a matching set. So all I did with this is I cleaned them really good using this um, furniture and cabinetry cleaner and they were super dirty. They had years and years of crud on them. And then I put two coats of Rescue Restore paint, which will stick to anything. You don't have to sand prime or prep really too much to use it. Um, this is black and it's called Little Black Dress. So I put two coats of the black paint on it, um, put my little piece of art inside and, and that's pretty much it. So, um, I don't know if there's anything else I really need to tell you about today. I have really loved this series and I hope that you have too. And I hope that this will motivate you to go to your local Goodwill or if you have a piano and you have sheet music at home, go look in the bench and see what's there and get it out and make some projects for the upcoming, make some banners or signs or shoot, make these little Christmas trees. These could not be easier. Um, and if you do, I would love it if you would share pictures of the projects that you make with me. Um, so in the future, I probably will do a few more crafts using sheet music. And this was one I just whipped up today. It's a little tassel using cut up sheet music. What do you think about that? In a future video, I'll show you how to do this because this is just way too easy also. And it, it would look pretty cute, I think. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. So, um, so I've enjoyed this. I'd love to see if you do any projects. Um, if you enjoyed this series or this video, go back and look at the other two that I did. Please um, feel free to share this or the other videos or my Facebook page, which is DIY Dreaming with your crafty friends that um, like to do projects or that like to make gifts. I would really appreciate it, appreciate that. So anyways, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if I can help you with anything. And um, until I see you again, I will be DIY dreaming up a whole bunch of new, affordable, easy, quick, no artistic ability required projects. See you soon, thanks.